Hello and welcome, Tormentic here, and today we're going to try something a little different. I have never done one of these, and over the last couple years I've gotten really interested and in back into TCGs. So today what we're going to do is I have a Kickstarter first edition D-Spirits booster box. Now, a little backstory, I found D-Spirits about two weeks ago um, at a, on a friend's live stream on Facebook, and I thought the cards looked awesome. They're a little cartoonish. This right here is one of the hollow rares. Um, but I, the more I look at them, the more I'm kind of, I kind of actually dig them. Um, it kind of reminds me a little bit of the tunes from Yu-Gi-Oh! back in the day mixed with um, Digimon. And I kind of dug it. I opened up about only two packs on that my uh, friend's stream and thought that was probably going to be about it. But I got the opportunity to go to Collecticon in Charlotte this past week. And lo and behold, D-Spirits actually had a booth there. And I actually had the opportunity of buying two booster boxes of their Kickstarter um, first edition. And I was stoked. I was blown away with not only just the staff, but with Sterling, the creator as well. I mean, he actually signed this one right here. You can see I was able to get two of the different uh, Kickstarter uh, starter decks. I, I talked to them for like 20, 30 minutes. Uh, super helpful. I, I can't express how nice the entire crew was. Uh, this was the actual promo for the Charlotte Collecticon as well too. And uh, so yeah, we're just gonna go through this. We're going to check it out. And uh, I purposely have not looked that much at all really into the cards, the storyline or anything like that just because I wanna go into it fresh seeing it for the first time. So um, I'll show you the box real quick before we crack it. All right, that's the front. And you have to kind of rotate it on each of them. Here's on the back. The D-Spirits TCG Kickstarter Control the Soul card set features over 140 D-Spirits. Now D-Spirit stands for Digital Spirits. Um, I'll go into that more later. Uh, 20 Signal and Sign cards, five Realm cards, and six Dark Rare D-Spirits. This booster box also includes one exclusive box topper rare and 20 Control the Soul booster packs. The D-Spirits card game is meant to be fast-paced, stra strategized, strategic, ha, and was designed to not be based heavily on luck or lucky draws like many other card games. Almost every D-Spirit has something to contribute in battle. Will you win using your favorites? And that's right there, their actual website. That's one of the big ones. That is the main big one, I want to say, from what I've found. And then this would be the bottom right here. And I went and I was actually looking at their Kickstarter before I made this video. And there's, there's a lot of impressive stuff on there. I'm going to do some other videos based on the storyline and other stuff like that that I can find from it. Because this, for some reason, this game right here has really, really caught my eye. Um, so yeah, as you can see, it's completely sealed. I'm going to go ahead and break this seal and we'll actually see what's inside of this box. Ooh, I don't want to hurt the box though. There we go. I'm not opening that other one, the one that he actually signed. And I honestly never thought that I would see a booster box of this because, again, this is the Kickstarter booster box. So... This is the one that the Kickstarter ended, oh God, oh, I think it was November of 2021. Oh, there's actual extra seals on it too, look at that. Okay, it's actually taped on both sides it looks like. Ooh, that's, that is, uh, there we go, all right. I don't wanna shake it, I don't wanna shake it. Did I miss something? Oh, I don't want to hurt the box either. We <laughs> can just get a little lip. We can we can help it out. All right, note to self: next time, figure out how to open a box before you actually start making the video. Ooh, that's cool. 
There's stuff on the side of the box. That is very tightly made. Okay. All right. So we got the top off. Let's look. What do we got in here? What do we got in here? D Battlefield 1.0 rules. All right. Okay, nice. So there's a little booklet on how to actually play. It explains what the different cards are, what they do. Awesome. All right, we will look more in depth in this in a later video when we actually go over exactly how it all works. Now this is the box topper. And I was told that the one you want from the box topper is this guy right here. So we're gonna hold off on that to the last. But look, look at how clean that is. That is a very, I, I, well made. It's well made, well put together. I'm gonna separate these out. Well, look at that, they just come out straight. With the different pack arts. Oof, that is a lot. That is a deep booster box. All right, so these are our four different pack arts. Get those out of the way. We'll look at each one of these. So this is one of them right here. As we open them, I hope to actually learn some of their names. Because again, I wanted to go into this without knowing too much about it, just because I love finding things for the first time. And you can kind of see what I'm talking about, how it looks, it, it looks like the tunes from Yu-Gi-Oh! Mixed in with Digimon. I love it. Like, I think it's awesome. All right, so let's start now the trick is you have to open them from the back if you open them from the front the hollow is actually the one on the from what i've seen in actual other videos we'll see how easy it is to open these i know most people actually use scissors and that's probably what we'll end up using because yeah i don't want to hurt the actual pack arts that much all right first pack oh there we go So the trick is, that's a rough first pack. Take the one from the front, put it in the back. All right. Come back. These are signal and sign cards. Now these are the actual D spirits that you would make your deck with. The cool thing is, is that this right here is what is the rarity. So I'm guessing common, uncommon, and rare based off of where that little needle is. Ha, <laughs> Batsu, that guy looks cool. Blizzard. Bold Rough. Gatticus. Camule, ha. <laughs> Look at the detail of the little spit coming out of the tongue, that's cool. Chickadee Dee. All right, I think this might be it. Ooh. Okay, the Moon Kappa. That's cool, that's one of the first uh, D Spirit Hollows that I've actually seen. That's really awesome. Just keep on going just like this. Oh, that was much easier. Learning all the time. Alright, from the front, from the back. Penwin, oh, that looks cute. Perodac dude. Ha! <laughs> Perodac dude. Pillar Reed. Pillar Reedy, maybe? <laughs> Pow wow. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Pow wow. Punch Bunny. Ooh. That looks really cool. 
Revenger. Okay. And these are all Kickstarter cards too. It's just I'm I'm so excited to be opening this. Reef Min. That's funny. You can see how they did the animation to make it look like they're flapping their hands. Rug Beat. Ooh, what's this? Vodaks. And if you look right here, they actually each one of them has a little tiny saying about which one of them is like this says it spends all day eating trash and releasing horrible fumes into the air so that's kind of cool each one of them has their own little own little saying on it all right now this guy is pretty much the main mascot well not gathered the uh the main character actually uses that d spirit and it's uh, him and the little tiger guy you see in the back there. All right, so you put that back here, flip it over. So each pack, it looks like, has two signal and star sign cards, and then the rest are going to actually be the D spirits themselves. Vulcan, Whip Winnie, <laughs> Woot Oat. Oh, that's a fun one to say. Wrecking Bull. Ooh, that's cool. Little arms like about to fight you. Yo, Flame. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That might be what that might be my favorite one so far. Yo, Flame. Oh, that's so fun. That's cool. I'm gonna put that to the side. A Rat Kid. All right, I like it. Digging it. Arrow Gland. Arrow Gland. Oh, that's. It's like a ghost. That's cool. All right, I think this is it. Oh wait, no, one more. Bag on. Oh, because has a bag on its head. That's that's funny. That's funny. Ooh, this is Hyranosaurus Rex. Hyranosaurus Rex. Oh, because it's like a Hydra. Because it has two heads. Oh, that's cool. I love the way that the hollows are on these cards too. Dinosaurus Rex, that's cool. All right, so far we're three for three D spirits. That's pretty awesome. All right, this is the last pack art. Let's see what this one could give us. I'm glad I actually watched one of the videos on YouTube about the card trick. Boom, all right, here we go. Come back. Desperate measures. You're in a. That's cool. We've seen a lot of different ones. That's awesome. <laughs> Froggy. <laughs> frostbite. Oh, that's that's a cool that's 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 a cool play on that on that word, frostbite. You just see because the arms are frozen, that's cool. Fun guy. Ha! <laughs> oh wow, okay, so this the fun guy might give Yo Flame a run for its money. Fun guy, that's 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 clever. That's super, super clever. Back in common though, but still, that's that's clever. I like that. Get gone. That's funny. Get gone. And then we have gasp. And then Ginga. Oh, that's that's funny. It's a little sweat drop. And then this might be it. Nope. One more. Globby. And then Globby is. Ooh. Toot foot. See that looks just like um, that card from Yu-Gi-Oh. I can't remember the. I can't remember what it is. But this. That's what I'm saying. Like I love the feel of this card. I love. I, I like how. Ooh, the names are actually engraved on it too. That is all. That hollow just too just makes that entire image pop. Oh, that's awesome. That's super awesome. That's I, I'm I'm actually digging this. The more the more we we'll look into it, I'm really 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 digging this. Oh well, here we go. Okay, well I didn't do the trick, but fiendful, fiendful. That's cool. Right, so we'll go through it like this. Fiendful, and we got rise and strike, seal blockage, another gasp, 
starting to see some uh, duplicates. Kinga, <laughs> Globby, ooh, Gunk. That's cool. I like the solid eye on it. Harpy Juku. That's that's a cool name. Harpy Juku. That's cool. <laughs> Hedgehog. Ha. Ah. Hut Tiki. That's nice. That's cool. And Hi Diva. So yeah, as far as I'm aware too, just to give as an example, this is the attack and the defense. And it operates very similar to um, Yu-Gi-Oh! Where you can attack and it's based off the attack points or it's based off the defense points. The one thing I did find out though about these spirits I thought was cool was that you can, I believe, block with an attacking... If someone attacks you, you can block with one of your creatures and if they attack the creature specifically you can turn it actually to like defense mode almost in essence and it's like i said i'm going to break down some of the rules and how to play and a little bit more in detail on it after this video uh, but the like i said the more I, I find out about this the more i'm actually really really digging d spirits all right here we go we got a new one it's scorpion a little scorpion and then sectofly oh that's cool looking Looks like a um, praying mantis on this. It's fine. Sharknivorous. Yo, man. Sneezo. <laughs> Alright. A little gross. Sombrero. Oh, come on. That's funny. It's a nice little cactus. Stingy. Thug. Thug sludge. <laughs> <laughs> Thug Sludge. Is this it? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, Tintron. That's cool. Cool little robot. Alright, here we go. Clownery. Clownery. That is our rare. Clownery. And yeah, I just I like how the entire card, except for the artwork, sparkles. It has the different types of hollow on it too. Where it's not just like the old school Pokemon Cosmos look, it actually has the, the bars going across it as well too. It's kind of cool. Alright, what do we got? Shuffle Artillery. Spirit again. Oh, another Hut Tiki. Hi Diva. Ooh, what is this? Canon G? Canon G? That's creepy looking. That's cool. Kara Kara. Ooh, that's another cool one. It's like an um... I don't know, it's almost like an umbrella. That, I don't know, I can't tell. That's cool. Ghost type over here. Catnapper. Catnapper. <laughs> <laughs> Catnapper. Catnapper. Oh, okay. Catnapper's going in the cool pile. Catnapper. King Ruffle. King Ruffle. All right. Koa. That was, uh, I believe, one of the ones that is... That might actually... I'm not sure. It's a common, but I think it's one of the more popular ones. Nagi. This might be it. Fiendful. Is that another Fiendful? That is. That's a second Fiendful. Wow. Okay. Was not. I, I no idea. Um, I heard that some of them, some some of the boxes were clumped. But I mean, at the same time, every pack has a hollow in it. Um, this is a good example. Like this, this is one of the hollows that you can get from it. Uh, that's actually the, I pulled that twice in the two packs that I bought. Um, so this is actually the first time I've been getting any sort of hollow D spirits themselves. All right, what do we got? We have Drag You With Me, Greediness, got another Gunk, Harpy Juku, Hedgehog, Hut Tiki, Hi Diva, Kananji, Kara Kara. I think this might be the first pack where we actually haven't had a new one. Catnapper. Ooh, what's that? Treacherous. That's cool. 
What does it say on here? It was fought as a valiant warrior, but after losing its life, it now relies on its phantomosis powers to gain the upper hand in battle. Ooh, that's a cool, that is a really cool one. All right, so far we've pulled all Hollow D spirits, so I'm really excited about that. I'm not entirely sure exactly what some of the best pulls in this are either. Um, I do believe there's one card in the booster box that has gold uh, where the name is, unlike the hollows. But I'm not entirely sure. Like I said, I'm not sure what to uh, what to expect. Trungo, that's a new one. Tough pup, <laughs> tough pup. Tuscan. Oh wow! All right, so this is a this is a pack with new ones we haven't seen. Ugg. Oh god, Ugg is awesome. That's so cool. <laughs> Ugg. Vulcan. I think we've seen Vulcan. Whip Weenie. That's another great one. Woot toot. Woot oot. Woot oot. And that's my. Uh, nope. Wrecking Bull. And then this is it. Ooh. What's this? This guy is called Crunch. When Crunch is summoned, you can destroy a Dia Spirit you control to have Crunch gain half of its attack power. This effect lasts until Crunch is destroyed or withdrawn from the field. That's cool. Alright, let's keep going. We got... Oh god, I'm not sure. Probably about maybe... At least 10 packs left, I want to say. Oh, I almost, I almost messed it up. Alright, in the back. Boom, here we go. Bagon, Batsu, Blizzard, Bold Rough, Catechus. I don't think we've seen Catechus. That's nice. It's a bug. Camul, Chickadee, just fun to say. Clamp, clamp, <laughs> clamp, clamp. And a gold goblin. Old goblin. All right. We'll keep on rolling. As we start seeing more of the, the duplicates, I'm going to go a little bit faster. I was trying to go slower at the beginning just because I hadn't seen most of these. Helicopter. Hopeful Summon. King Ruffle. Koa. Nagi. Ninstar. <laughs> Ninstar. That's cool. <laughs> Mum Nuts. Num nuts, num nuts. <laughs> These names are killing me. Num nuts, I love it. Nude limb. Oinkster, I like Oinkster. Pinwin. And Wallop Broad. Wallop Broad? Yeah, Wallop Broad. Cool. Alright. Let's keep it going. We got what? One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine left. All right, nine left. Means we're just a little over half the booster box. There are 20 packs in each one of the Kickstarter boxes, and we still have the box topper left for the end. All right, here we go. Spirit Break, Stance Change, Ninstar, Numbnuts, Nude Limb, Oinkster. Wait, is this the same pack? Pinwin, Perodactude. Reed, Powwow, and Fairy Bit. Fairy Bit. Oh, let's see. Some of them are super cute, too. Fairy Bit. That's Fairy Bit. Fairy Bit. Fairy Bit. I'm excited to start looking at the, the storyline, what they've released. Um, they do have a TV show that they're working on right now. If you go to their website, you can actually see some of the renderings that they've done for that. Um, and after talking to Star, uh, Sterling, the creator, I'm really excited to see where they go. They definitely have a good plan for the future. All right, we got Gikon, Gasp, Ginja, Ginga, Globby, Gunk, Harpy Juku, Hedgehog, Huttiki, and Greedly. 
Nice. All right. So always so scared of actually cutting the cards using scissors, but I don't want to hurt these cards because they're Kickstarter cards. Oh, as I say that, and this pack won't open. Oh, oh, don't do that to me. Don't do that to me. Oh, I didn't look. Okay, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. I didn't look. All right, drag you with me. Greediness. Tuscan, Ugg, Vulcan, Whip Weenie, Woot Toot, Woot Oot, Wrecking Ball, Yo Flame, my guy, Yo Flame, all right, all right, kid, and Momo, Mono, Mono, nice, Mono, all right, we have not seen Mono. We got five packs left after this, and then that backstopper. All right, call for home, come back, punch bunny, revenger, reefman, rugby. Oh, we haven't seen rugby. That's nice. <laughs> Little microphone, scorpion, secto fly. Love that. Shark, <laughs> shark nivorous, sneezo, and. Another fairy bit. Another fairy bit. Cool. Alright, here we go. Miracle Shield. Redirect. Paradactude. Pillareed. Pow Wow. Punch Bunny. Revenger. Reefman. Rugbeat. I think this is it. Nope. Scorpion. Witcheroo. Cool. Alright. Four packs left. Alright. Rise and Strike. Seal Blockage. Hydiva. Kananji. Kara Kara, Cat <laughs> Catnipper, King Ruffle, Koa, Nagi, Ninstar, Ooh, and a Hood Rat. That's cool. That's really, really cool. Alright, three packs left, and then the box topper. Packs seem pretty easy to open. They're pretty well made. What is that? Helicopter. Halocopter. Hopeful Summon. Woot Oot. Ooh, I said it right. Wrecking Bull. Yo Flame, my man. A Rat Kid. Aeroglant. 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 Wow. Bag on. Batsu. Lizard and a bam boom bam boom bam boom bam 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 boom that's funny all right last two packs all right we got to restore rise and strike secto fly Sharknivorous, Sneezo, Sombero, Stingy, Thug Sludge, Tintron, Trunko, and a Wafiti. Wa waf iti. Wafiti? Wafiti? Not probably saying that right at all. That's cool. Alright, last pack. See what we got. I'm excited for that box topper. All right, desperate measures. Drag you with me. 
Sombero, Stingy, Thug Sludge, Tindron, Trunko, Tough Pup, Tuscan, Ugg, and Eternia. That's cool. Eternia. All right, so this, this is the box topper. The only, only one of them comes in it. I have no idea what side it's gonna come in on. I'm gonna make sure I don't cut this card or I will be so sad. All right, so it comes in. So, ooh, all right, Perry. I'll take it. See, that's the, the gold right there. That's nice. I want to say the hollow on them looks the same, though. The only difference is the gold in the name. But yeah, no, that's awesome. I'm really excited for when, uh, when this game comes out, when we can actually start buying more of it. Um, I definitely want to rip some more of it. I'm definitely going to learn how to play it. And uh, like I said, I am going to go through and actually explain a little bit more about exactly what D Spirits is, the storyline so far behind it, um, explain some of the cards and other stuff like that in the future. So definitely keep a lookout for that. Um, that should hopefully be out sometime very soon. But thanks for sticking around. Like I said, I'm, I, I love, I, I think these cards are awesome. Just looking at them going through that entire booster box I just I'm I'm ecstatic because I didn't think I would actually be able to open this many packs of this game especially the kickstarter version of it so thanks again for sticking around and I'll catch you guys next time